idea of going and fruit goes to people who need it, fruit gets to, you know, not rot on the ground, and so we decided to show up. Saturday kicked off the great apple harvest for the Okanagan Fruit Tree Project, who has been picking fruit and vegetables throughout the valley since June. What we do is we bring together community members um, to learn and experience our local food system. Uh, we're primarily known for our produce rescue program, which is where we go to people's farms, orchards or backyards and harvest any fruits and vegetables and sometimes nuts that haven't been harvested. And then we redistribute that out through the community. So that goes to uh, a variety of schools and social service agencies up and down through the central and south Okanagan and sometimes beyond. Today what we're doing is our great apple harvest, which is an annual event that we host. Um, where we harvest as many apples as we can. Uh, today we're on track for at least 16 bins of apples, which is great. And we're going to be pressing that into our apple juice that we sell for a fundraiser to raise funds for our organization. As of Saturday, over 30,000 pounds of fruits and vegetables have been picked by the Fruit Tree Project. People love volunteering with us. We're, we in, are an inclusive, family-friendly, um, outdoors, really fun experience. It's been really great, especially during COVID, because we can make make sure that things are more like extra safe and following COVID protocols. It's really rare in 2021 to have a community endeavor. And this is an opportunity to in one day do work that would take our family a week and a half, two weeks by ourselves. And we see kids who don't get to meet animals, playing with our chickens, feeding our ducks. And it is beautiful. It's many hands making light work. And it's me bringing my community into a space that they might not otherwise access. The organization hopes to grow its project with continued increased demand from orchardists and volunteers. We have a lot of orchardists, um, homeowners that are calling us to, to harvest. The issue is the amount of coordination that has to go um, behind organizing and so we can only coordinate so much. So the demand is coming from both sides uh, and it's just doing the best that we can behind the scenes to to make it happen. And this project will keep on picking throughout the rest of fall. For Castanet News in Summerland, I'm Casey Richardson.